Welcome back to another Blueprint Nursing YouTube video. My name is Nicole, and today we're going to review Parkinson disease. After our review, we'll test out our knowledge with an end-click style question. Ready? Let's get to it. Parkinson disease is a chronic, progressive, neurodegenerative disease. So, a part of the brain deteriorates over time, causing a decline in the affected area. Parkinson disease can start as a minimal weakness and then progress to a point where the client will be completely dependent for all activities of daily living. In the case of Parkinson disease, the degeneration causes a decrease in dopamine. And dopamine, as we remember, is a calming neurotransmitter that inhibits acetylcholine, an excitatory neurotransmitter. We see the result of the decreased dopamine in the key characteristics of Parkinson disease. These key characteristics include bradykinesia, a slowness in the initiation and execution of movements, rigidity, and tremors. These occur at rest. Main takeaway, there is not enough dopamine, that calms, to balance out the acetylcholine, that excites. We're looking at clients that are over 50 years of age, male, and clients with chronic antipsychotic medication use. Clients with a family history or a history of environmental exposure to certain chemicals may see an increased risk as well. Signs and symptoms that we commonly see will relate to the effects of low dopamine on the brain and the sympathetic nervous system. The symptom that usually brings the client to seek medical attention is fatigue. Other symptoms will include changes in movement, like shuffling gait, pill rolling tremor, loss of arm swing, changes in voice, monotone voice, slurred speech, or rapid speech, changes in smooth muscle activity, so we're looking at incontinence, constipation, orthostatic hypotension, and changes in cognition. This is a late sign, like dementia or hallucinations. Parkinson's disease does not currently have a known cure. Anti-Parkinson medications, like the commonly used dopaminergic carbidopa levodopa, are used to slow the progression of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. In addition to Parkinson medications, clients are encouraged to stay independent as long as possible. This looks like exercising at home with a physical therapist, wearing adaptable clothing, and creating a schedule to ensure that medications are taken at the right time. Moving on to complications and safety concerns. Complications of Parkinson disease are usually related to the progression of symptoms. Based on the symptoms we discussed, what do you think we'll see? Cognitive impairment, problems with eating or drinking, disrupted sleep patterns, and incontinence. Safety concerns in our clients with Parkinson's disease would certainly relate to their symptoms as well. Risk for falls would be a high priority because of their shuffling gait and changes in voluntary movements. Another notable safety concern is risk for aspiration. So how can we empower our clients with Parkinson's disease? We'll definitely teach these clients about how to reduce their risk of fall or injury at home. Comment below on examples of fall risks found at home. We'll also educate clients on their medication management and to call the provider if they're experiencing worsening of Parkinson's symptoms. Remember to encourage our support system to assist with meal preparation. Great job reviewing Parkinson's disease. Let's finish this up with an NCLEX style question. The nurse is caring for a client diagnosed with the early stages of Parkinson's disease. Which of the following nursing interventions would be least appropriate for this client? Option one, minimize clutter in the client's room. Option two, Place assistive devices within reach. Option three, provide small, high calorie snacks. Option four, reorient the client as needed for confusion. Pause here, review the options, and press play when you've picked your answer. Ready? Let's check it out. Did you pick up on the clue in the question? This client is diagnosed with early stages of Parkinson's disease. So we're thinking that this client is experiencing the key characteristics of Parkinson's disease, like fatigue and changes in motor function. Only one of the options is an intervention for clients experiencing late symptoms, and that is option four, reorient the client as needed for confusion. Great job. The client is not likely to be experiencing any cognitive changes yet if they are in the early stages of Parkinson's disease. Options one through three are all excellent interventions that address nutrition and safety needs for a client diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Great job on the question, friends. Here's a quick memory tool to remember symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Trap, tremor, rigidity, akinesia, bradykinesia, and postural instability. Trap. Here's a quick look at the materials that we use to make this review. 
as always, thank you so much for coming to review this topic with me. Remember to subscribe to our channel to catch our content review videos. Also, check out Blueprint Nursing's TikTok page and live study group options. See you next time.